Hey YouTube, how's it going? Nick, Life with Nick 918 back with another video. So, we have a Topps Giant Box Series 1. I have yet to see these on the shelves. This was the first time I had saw them on the shelves. And I really wanted to get it. Because there are some really, really good rookies in here. Um, obviously, as we know, Ellie. But there are a lot more as well. I love Henry Davis, even though he's not one of the big rookies anymore. And there are a crazy amount of big cards you can hit let alone the amount of packs that you get so this was fifty dollars i found it at target look at how many packs you get it's insane so you get 16 packs 14 cards per pack the big card that we are chasing out of here besides the ellie numbered which would be insane the shohei otani short print of him in a dodgers uniform goes for insane money so Without further ado, a lot of packs. Let's just get into it. Brandon Marsh, Morrell, Jorge Mateo, Byron Buxton, Raleigh Green, Future Stars, Stars of the MLB, Sal Freilich, Ryan Nelson, Logan Webb. Nothing really insane there. Did get a retail blue that I missed of Raleigh Green. Uh, maybe a dollar or two worth of cards. But with how many packs we have, we're probably going to hit one or two decent things. And once again, it was only $50 and you get so many cards. So if you're set collecting, this is definitely the one to do it with. Because you get so many cards. Alright, we have a backwards Rafaela. Ooh. That is actually a pretty good card there. Not numbered, but a nice little short print. Stars of the MLB, nice one there as well. But that Rafaela is actually pretty good. For me, I live in the New England area, so although I'm a Yankees fan, I know that will be really easy to move. So might be able to get some of my uh, some of my nice Yankee cards with that. Maybe even uh, maybe even trade for a uh, for Dominguez, who's a rookie in here. Like I said, the. Uh, the rookie class in here is honestly insane for Series 1. I don't know what it's going to be for Series 2. Obviously, it depends on who gets called up. Nice one right there. Nice little Bobby Witt home run challenge. Grand Gamers. Freddie Freeman. So, really good pack here. Luke and Baker, who's another one that's not too bad. And a Glaber, who just hit his first home run for the Yankees in spring training. Speaking of spring training for the Yankees... um. So far, the Juan Soto deal is looking really good. I mean, he's looking absolutely insane. Uh, once again, no huge rookies yet. Um, did get a couple fairly nice colors. Once again, another short print there. Nice Mike Trout. Nothing too insane yet. That Rafaela is still pretty good. It was like a icy uh, 1989 Topps throwback, so... Once again, that was kind of cool. Nothing else really insane yet. No huge rookies, but like I said, with how many cards we get, I'm sure we're going to hit the Ellie along with probably a couple other ones. Nice Ken Griffey celebration of the kid. Not sure how short printed that is, but honestly, that's pretty cool. Nice Jordan Lawler. I didn't realize he was a rookie in this set, so that's kind of cool. That was my first Jordan Lawler, actually, that I pulled. I've been opening uh, Top Series 1 here and there. I've yet to pull anything insane. I would love to pull a nice uh, nice numbered card. That would be good. But to be honest, I'm just happy that uh, Tops finally has a good rookie class. It's been a while to where you're chasing more than just one rookie. Uh, Ronnie Marciano. Here's another one that I forgot about. He was one that was huge for a while kind of cooled off and now we're going to see how he does and once again that was another one of those inserts that'd be absolutely insane if we get that uh for an ellie that would be a cool one to get um you guys need to let me know in the comments i haven't opened enough yet to know are they still flipping short prints or do you have to search for them because i know before the last couple of years they were flipping them and if they are not flipping them this year, I have yet to be able to see a short print unless this is it right here. 
Cuba Ruiz. Nope, that's just a foil. Miguel Cabrera, 2023. So, nice Juan Soto there. So, getting some pretty good cards. Still got a lot of packs left. Probably about halfway there. Like I said, this is just a fun rip. Even if you don't hit anything absolutely insane. It's just such a fun rip. And for $50, you can't really go wrong. Nice Aaron Judge there. Grayson Rodriguez. Josh Naylor. Adley Rushman. Ronnie Marciano. Stars of the game again. Jose Ferrer. So, base stack is getting really high. But honestly, so is the stack of what I consider the... Uh, the nice little inserts. I always put any card that's 50 cent or more off to the side just because those I can put in my 50 cent bins. Once again, nothing has been too insane. Probably the biggest card is, I don't know, $2 maybe. Another Luciano there. Um, But it's been fun. Nice little Shohei there. Once, Oh, and it's the Topps Chrome Shohei. So that is a really nice one. And then right behind it, we got an Ellie. So those are definitely the two biggest cards that I've pulled so far. Um, always nice, like I said, to pull Shohei. We are looking for his short print. If we can find him in that Dodger uniform. I just saw one sell. I was watching it because my friend hit one. He sold it for $1,700 for just him as a super short print in the, uh, in the Dodgers uni. So... All right, we have someone who I do not know, Greater Raw to $9.99. So we did get a numbered card. Hopefully we could get at least one more. Ozzy Smith, Acuna Jr., nice right there. So we are getting, like I said, some decent cards. Nothing huge yet, though, although that Shohei, that might actually be a decent card. I definitely need to check on that. The Ellie, I've pulled that a couple of times. That's like a $5 card, so that's kind of nice. But obviously, we're not always in it just for the money. We are in it for the collecting as well. And baseball, for me, is more of a collecting sport. Oh, I love these things, and it's an Ellie. Oh, these things are so cool. Um, What do they call them? They are called the Superstar Blueprints. These are so dang cool. Oh, that's awesome. And we got a nice Aaron Judge behind it. So, we've now pulled two Ellie's. Now, can we get a base of him or just a uh, or numbered of him would be cool. This is uh, this has definitely been fun. I mean, another Ronnie Marciano. I think that's the second or third I pulled of him. And each picture has looked different. So, I'm wondering if any of those are short prints. Benintendi, nice Jackie. Tyler Sordenstrom. I actually pulled an auto of his. Uh, last year, um, and Bowman, and I'd never heard of him before, and apparently he's actually a pretty good player, so I was actually happy once I found out, but I'd never heard of him before. Jacob deGrom, Logan O'Hop, nice, speaking of an auto, Jordan Westberg, now if I'm not mistaken, he is actually one of the people that you want to get, and it's numbered to 199. So nice, got an auto, was not expecting that. And we got a home run derby of Jazz Chisholm. And a Goldie. This has honestly been insane. We still have three packs left. I am beyond happy with this. This is, this has been a great, great box. If I find any more, unfortunately this was the only one on the shelf when I was looking. If I find any more, I'm definitely gonna pick it up. It's so worth it. Once again, even if you don't pull anything insane, it's just so fun to hit. Luis Matos, once again, a nice little rookie there. Vladdy, Riley Green. And to know that you can hit a $1,700 card out of here as well, for those of you who do who do it for the money, it is a low risk. Because to be honest with tops, it seems like you tend to get not always your money back, but pretty close to it. Unlike Panini, to where if you hit 30% of your money back, you're actually happy. Which is why I'm so happy that Tops merged. And, oh, cheater there. Yordi. 
There is Dominguez. Nice. Uh, that's why I'm so happy that they merged. And we have uh, we have some we have some nice cards coming out from Fanatics. Yoshida, who had a great year. Oh, man, this has just been so fun. I definitely want to open another of these. There's another Jordan Westberg. Castillo. Joe Jocks. Jose Altuve. Henry Davis, stars of the MLB. And that is going to do it. So our big pulls. We got five pretty good pulls. First off, Dominguez base. Nice there. We got a Jordan Westberg auto to 199. We have an Aaron Judge. We got the Ellie De La Cruz. We got another Ellie. And we got the Shohei Otani Tops Chrome. I'm going to go through here. I might have hit some short prints that I'm not aware of. Once again, I don't know if they're flipping them now or not. I know before they used to. I'm not sure now. But thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.